Today we have a fun one. We have a brand new area that we haven't covered yet on this channel. We're gonna be talking about the pros and cons of living in Elk Grove, California. Let's check it out. What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel. We're Lance and Lauren, and on this channel we talk all about what it's like living in Sacramento and the surrounding areas. So if you're wanting the most up-to-date information about what it's like to live in Sacramento, the surrounding areas like Elk Grove, then go ahead, hit that like and subscribe button. We're dropping new videos every week on what it's like living in Sacramento. On top of making videos, we are also licensed real estate agents in California, which means as much as we love making these videos, we love helping you more with all of your real estate needs. We do answer every call, text, and email, so if you're wanting to move to the area or if you have any questions about the Sacramento area or Elk Grove in regard to your real estate needs, we would love to help you out. This is the second largest city in population behind Sacramento in Sacramento County, and we're gonna be covering the pros and cons if you're considering living in Elk Grove. So diving right into it, our first pro for Elk Grove is that it's conveniently located. Now, Elk Grove is conveniently located near some major highways, and it's just a short drive from Sacramento. So the convenience of being super close to these freeways also makes it easy for day trips if you want to shoot up to Lake Tahoe or if you need to go back down to the Bay Area for some remote work. So if you're looking for a city that's close to Sacramento but makes it easy to get out of town, Elk Grove is going to be a great place to be. Elk Grove is located south of Sacramento, east of Highway 5, between Clarksburg and Wilton. The 99 freeway also runs through the middle of Elk Grove, making it easy to hop onto if you need to go to Sacramento or south if you need to get to the Bay Area or Southern California. Elk Grove is just about a 25 minute drive into Sacramento. second pro on our list for Elk Grove is the schools here. Elk Grove has highly rated schools that not only do well in academics, but are also known for their sports programs. The schools here are part of the Elk Grove Unified School District and is one of the top rated school districts in Northern California. Franklin High School and Pleasant Grove High School both rate a 9 out of 10 overall and a 10 out of 10 for test scores. Elk Grove also has Consumnes Oaks High School and Monterey Trail High School that both rate an 8 out of 10 overall and a 9 out of 10 for test scores. And lastly, they have their older high schools, Elk Grove High School and Laguna Creek High School that both rate a 6 out of 10 overall and a 7 out of 10 for test scores. Many of the high schools in Elk Grove are known for their amazing sports programs, including awesome football teams that usually make it to the playoff rounds each year. Now the third pro on our list for Elk Grove is that you can find more affordable housing here. So Elk Grove, similar to Roseville, is a large city that offers a wide variety of homes and home types. Elk Grove is considered relatively more affordable than some of the other suburbs outside of Sacramento, which makes it a more attractive area for home buyers since your money goes a little bit farther out here. Elk Grove does have a little bit of something for everyone though. So east, if you go out towards Wilton, you have some ranch properties with larger lots. You have some new construction homes that are being built all throughout the city. You also have a wide range of housing options from some of the more established neighborhoods here in Elk Grove. So you can find a three bedroom, two bathroom home priced somewhere between the lower to mid fours in some of the older parts of Elk Grove, or you can find three bedroom, two bathroom homes in one of our absolute favorite neighborhoods, which is Laguna West. You can find these homes here for about 525,000 and some of these homes even back up to some of these awesome lakes. Stay tuned next week as we are doing a neighborhood vlog tour of the Laguna West area. The fourth pro on our list is this city has great access to many amenities. Elk Grove is the biggest city in population behind Sacramento and it has a ton of shopping centers, restaurants, and entertainment options located within the city. With all of these amenities, you have amazing restaurants like Makuni Elk Grove, it's a great place to eat at if you love fresh sushi, Boulevard Bistro that offers American fine dining cuisine. This awesome restaurant was voted number seven on the top 20 places to eat in California on Yelp. It's a great spot for date night. If you like tacos, you have to check out West Coast Taco Bar. This restaurant made the Yelp's top 100 places to eat in all of the US list. We actually just ate there today and it is amazing. We got Bitchin' Cali Burrito, which has some carne asada, it has some shrimp. That was delicious. We also got their carne asada fries. 
So, you know, we had the burrito. It was probably enough for us to share the both of us. Um, we also got the fries, which was probably a little much. We probably didn't need all that food, but it was amazing. I'm still stuffed. It was awesome food. Elk Grove also has a newer casino that recently opened called Sky River Casino, located at Highway 99 and Grant Line. You can find great restaurants here. They also do some pretty cool events. Since Elk Grove is just south of Sacramento and a quick drive into the city, you also have access to everything that is going on in the heart of Sacramento, from entertainment to restaurants there. But Elk Grove is also big enough to where you don't have to leave the area if you're happy with that more suburban feel. So fifth pro on our list in Elk Grove is it's filled with many beautiful parks and green spaces. Some of these parks are amazing. One of the city's most beautiful and popular parks is the Elk Grove Regional Park, which is basically like a mega park, which is where we're at right now. It also has so many activities that you can do while you're here at this park. So this park has softball fields, baseball fields, soccer fields. It also has horseshoe pits, volleyball courts. It even has a swim center. This massive park also puts on some pretty awesome events like concerts and movies in the park during the spring, summer, and fall months. This park is centered around a massive pond where you can do some bass fishing. It also has a ton of trails for walking and biking. The other nice thing about El Grove is that you're not too far away from the Sacramento River. So if you want to take your boat out there, you can do that as well. The sixth pro on the list for people moving to Elk Grove is the easy access to healthcare here. Elk Grove has its own hospital with Dignity Elk Grove Community Hospital. Kaiser has two large medical offices located in Elk Grove, or if you have Sutter Health, Sutter has Sutter Medical Plaza with many doctor's offices located here too. You can also find other individual providers sprinkled across the city, as well as many urgent care facilities. You're also close to Sacramento, so if you need to go to one of the larger hospitals located in Sac, it's just a quick drive to get there. Some of the feedback we've gotten from our clients that are retiring in Elk Grove is that they like that it's super close to some of the doctors here for doctor's appointments. Seventh pro on our list in Elk Grove is Elk Grove has a strong job market. So if you're looking for a great job or if you're looking to get into a specific field, Elk Grove is a good place to look. Here you can find several different employers. There's the Apple campus here that's located in Elk Grove. You have Amazon, All Data, and ADP. Elk Grove can also be attractive for people who are still having to do that remote work down in the Bay Area. Being that it's on the south side of Sacramento and located between the two major freeways, you can still make it down to the Bay pretty quickly and avoid some of the traffic on 80. Now the eighth pro on our list is the weather here. Now I know we've said it in other videos, but the weather in just about all of Sacramento and the greater Sacramento area is amazing. And Elk Grove is no different. Elk Grove has four full seasons, so it's not like you're living in the heat or the rain year round. Our spring when the trees and the flowers start to bloom makes Elk Grove very beautiful, just like this park we're at right now. Now, when it gets to the summertime, it does get pretty hot. Last summer we had a record breaking summer with 41 days that were at or above 100 degrees. And you know, moving on to our winter months, our winters can be wet and rainy, and this winter has been the wettest winter we've had in a very long time. The storms will come in and it will rain for anywhere from three to five days, then we'll get a break, the sun will peak out for a day or two before another storm rolls in. So the one nice thing about the winters here is that even when it's a really rainy one like this past winter, the sun still peaks out from time to time. Now the last pro on our list that a lot of people mention when they move here is the proximity to wine country or different wine regions in the area. So depending on where you're coming from in the United States, California does have that awesome weather that she just talked about and we have some great wine. Elk Grove is in that central location where you can hit a couple of different locations or regions depending on how far you wanna drive. So some are relatively close and some are a little bit farther. Now, of course, we're only about an hour and a half away from Napa wine country, which is you know what Napa is known for. But Elk Grove, you're also just a short drive from Amador County, which has some great wineries as well, like Hellwig, Rombauer, or Shenandoah. So these are just a small handful of some of the amazing wineries that you can check out, and it's still a pretty close drive.
So moving on to our cons. The first con on our list is the traffic out here. So Elk Grove has grown a ton over the years and with all the new people that are moving here, it's created more traffic in the city as well as more traffic on 99 and Interstate 5 as people commute in and out of Sacramento. So even with the traffic and even the city being busier with more people that have moved here, it's still not as bad if you're comparing it to other parts of California, let's say like the Bay Area or Southern California. Our traffic is not even in the same conversation, but you know, still something to be aware of. The second con on our list is lack of nightlife or limited nightlife. Elk Grove is very much a suburb and it doesn't have that city feel or that city life that Sacramento has. If you're looking for something to do later at night, you'll most likely want to drive into Sacramento for that. Elk Grove does have some bars that are open, but not exactly like Sacramento. Now the third con on our list is allergies. Elk Grove does have a ton of beautiful trees that are planted throughout the city as well as many other plants. So this can contribute to allergies if you're not used to them in the spring. Even if you've never had allergies before, you might get seasonal allergies here. We're going in the springtime and even I'm getting hit with them a little bit depending on the day of the week. The fourth con on our list is public transportation. Elk Grove does have city buses that run throughout the city that you can use if you need to use public transportation. There are plans to extend the light rail service into Elk Grove in the future, but as of right now, having a car is going to be your best option. Our fifth con on the list is gonna be walkability. So Elk Grove is a massive city, big city, and it spans over two different freeways, and it does have sidewalks in most of the neighborhoods. However, to accomplish most of your normal everyday errands or tasks, you're gonna need a car. It's not very walkable in the city. You can get to your groceries and things like that. Even if you're trying to make it across the city, you're gonna need to plan at least a 20 to 30 minute drive, depending on the time of day, to make from like the west side of Elk Grove all the way to the east side of Elk Grove if you have to travel there. There you have it. Those are the pros and cons of living in Elk Grove. Now, while there are certainly some downsides to consider when you're thinking about moving to Elk Grove, the benefits of living in the city definitely outweigh the negatives. So if you're deciding on making a move to Elk Grove or any of these surrounding areas in Sacramento, reach out and let us know how we can help and figure out a game plan that's gonna help making the move to Elk Grove or one of these other surrounding areas a little bit more easier. So there should be a number popping up. We answer every call, text, and email. So if you have any questions about Elk Grove or the greater Sacramento area in regards to your real estate needs, we would love to help you guys out. And as always, know that we've got your back when it comes to moving to Sacramento.